Salutations and good morrow everyone and welcome back to another ground update video where today we're going to be going over some of the items that are inside of the crafting menu that end up getting unlocked whenever you go through and actually enter in the unlock all items uh, admin code inside of grounded. Now this would be great for all of you guys who are looking to know about what's going to be coming next and you guys don't play on the computer where you can actually use these admin codes so you guys are Xbox players or you just don't feel like going through and figuring out how to enter in admin codes but let's hop in and let's check them out. So I I already have up the admin code already entered in and you guys can see them in the resources tab and inside of this resources tab I wanted to go over some of the things that are going to be in here that you guys have not seen inside of the game yet for instance these lab chairs for right now inside of the game you cannot pick these up but what I can say is that when I went into the development world I was able to actually pick up these lab chairs now it was strange because I was only holding it in my hand like this uh, and I wasn't able to actually put it in my inventory yet but that just shows that sooner or later we're going to be able to play with these and and it does say you act an actual chair that was shrunk down for use in the labs you stole this and yes it is going to end up being taken from the labs in order for you to use it but it does say that you stole this uh this lab chair exactly the same just looks a little bit different and that's fine steel gum now there is lots of speculation on where this is going to end up in the most recent and kind of community based idea is that this is going to end up underneath the picnic table that is right over there that has the beehive on it here let's see if we can get a little peeksy at her over there there it is way over there um so i'm pretty sure that's where it's going to end up it's probably going to be stuck to the bottom side of that and you're probably going to use it or it may be stuck to a can i don't know it just depends on where they want to put it in but going back in here, the steel gum is used to make the Dragonfly Slayer, which you guys um, can see right here. It's steel gum and a bee stinger. It's not ready yet, but you, I will point out that this is the tier four weapon in the game so far. Keep on going down. All this stuff is the same until we get over to thorns. Thorn is a sharp barb from the stem of a rose. You can't actually pull these off yet, but soon we will be able to. And it looks like it's going to just be a pokey thing. I'm hoping it's another version for something for a trap. That'd be really awesome. Let's keep on going down here and let's find some more stuff that you guys haven't seen before. Shiny ant heads the head of a shiny ant. Shiny ants are not in the game yet. I'm assuming it's going to be a specialty ant, maybe the boss, not really sure yet. But um, there is a shiny ant head that's inside of these resources that you can unlock. Fertilizer, that points me to believe that we're going to get some sort of fertilizer in the game, whether it's to grow your own crops in the game or maybe it's for like a bag that you can pick some up from maybe use it to make another version of a tnt or something um let's keep on going down right here you guys will see polaroid picture this is an invalid game item at the moment no um work has been done to it i'm assuming that this is probably going to be for artwork at some time that you hang on the wall and i think that that's probably all it's going to be for and then we start getting into new bug parts okay we're going to start with stink bug plating notice that this piece it does it it says feelers on it but it's not really like part of the game yet um, this is a shards of plates on the back of stink bugs. So this is the third part to a stink bug. Just like the ladybug wing here would be the third part that comes off of a ladybug. I'm assuming that these would be rare parts that come off of a ladybug or the stink bug or even like weevil parts here different parts that would come off to allow you to craft higher tier things or maybe different traps different armor and such like that uh going down you have a grub face face plate here um once again just another thing that's just extra that they haven't done anything with yet going all the way down here we're going to take a little bit to get through here till we find strider legs now strider legs is a leg harvested from a water strider long and slim and but surprisingly robust now these water strider legs so far in the game are planning on going into one very cool thing that i'm hoping it's added to the game very soon you go into workbench gear and then all the way at the bottom we have these things called strider skates a pair of shoes that you skate across the surface of the water a lot like a pond strider a pond strider literally walks on water so it's gonna be cool to have those they're not really needed yet in game because you don't really ever have to run over the top of the water it does kind of get rid of the need for a raft or a boat or anything like that but at the end of the day it's pretty cool um, that we're going to be getting a strider water a pond strider sometime in the game for us to be able to fight and also make some armor out of um, going on further down over here you'll see that we not only have lily brain um, lily pad wax but we also have a lily pad membrane here which is another part from the lily pad 
cattail fluff so that is coming you'll be able to actually harvest the cattails but what i want to point out with this item and i want to know what you guys think about what could be made with it down in the comments is what you guys think that this warm and insulating part right here means they've hinted at adding weather to the game could it be that they're going to add something to the point where we need to actually insulate something or could it be a different biome i'm not sure let me know what you guys think down in the comments i'd love to know you guys' ideas all right moving on down you guys will see that we have leech sack here a bundle of breathable leech skin okay so this is actually used in order to make the harpoon gun you guys have seen that a couple times um if i come over here uh workbench uh weapons scroll all the way down and you'll see we have harpoon gun and tactical harpoon gun this one just gets a light um but it's just a harpoon gun sprigs leech sacks and strider legs so that's probably why we haven't gotten the pond striders or the leeches yet because they can't figure out how to get this harpoon gun to work properly so sooner or later those items will be added to the game excuse me while i scroll all the way down here back to where we were okay so we're going down now we have live aphid now this is an invalid dash one game slash items item um and it's going to show as broken for right now uh like if i click on something else and bring back it's just going to show the same thing and what this is is actually a tiny little live aphid that you're going to be able to keep now they've talked about taming in the game obviously this just shows us it's either going to be used for some sort of trap or we're going to be able to capture it keep it and make a pet one of the cool one of those two things is definitely going to happen and i'm really looking forward to it all right moving on we have the black ant parts here black ant mandibles head and parts those are just same old same old parts but they're the black we know that those were going to be coming because of the armor that we have hardened sprigs are reinforced with resin super sturdy well speaking of resin there it is right there applied to the materials to strengthen them so cool new way to upgrade materials maybe there could be an upgrading system to our armor in the future very excited about that ant acid a formic acid distilled from ant acid glands smells like vinegar so maybe the black ants will end up spraying something at us at some point um and then going on down let's see if there's anything else here for you guys we got raw cricket meat uh crickets are not in the game yet but this points out that we are most likely going to get uh, crickets in the game very soon or at least sometime in the seerable future pollen puff screen removes you from enemy sight for a short duration hopefully this will allow us to make like a gas bomb more or less to escape things that would be pretty cool especially you know, some of the things that could be coming in the future buoyancy thingy this isn't really in the game yet this is it makes you go whoosh i'm assuming that this is something that you pull out to make yourself go up in the water really fast the water's not that deep so you don't ever really need this but hey why not right sounds cool debug sword this is just a uh, legendary sword in the game that's used for nothing but debugging right now um, maybe this will become the debug sword maybe it's going to come into an actual game item called the debug sword but as you can see with the damage and the stun behind me here it's not very strong it's in fact it's just as strong as the good old um the dragonfly slayer okay moving on we know about the rotten stinger spear but we have a crow crossbow this is coming gonna come into the game it says a crossbow made out of crow feathers a crow's bow um is what i think they should change the name of it to um but at the end of the day looks pretty cool pretty excited about it and the artwork on it needs to be finished because this white texture is definitely not how it's going to stay but at the end of the day still pretty cool basketball not in the game yet ultimate armor glue no need for it yet because um it's uh it's tier three and the only tier three armor does it uses the tier two repair glue so this is just kind of a null item at the moment we don't really need it compass it adds a compass that's right up here right next to that e up there uh clover glider i've talked about this in quite a few of my streams that we're going to be getting another glider to the game hopefully this one will be better than the puffed that will allow us to actually go a little bit further and then going on down guys there's only two more items here this invalid dash one game slash items that's right here this is actually a boomerang uh inside the code to spawn this it's actually called boomerang i would spawn it in for you guys but it crashes your game every time you spawn it so it's really not needed and it's just that's just what it is it looks like a spider fang dagger and the last thing is this grinder it grinds up all items into uh juice insects really hate the noise of it and when it's running so i'm assuming that this will become something that the insects will end up going out and looking for you for but guys that is all of the items that are currently in the resources tab whenever you unlock all resources in the development world so thank you guys all so much for watching this video if you guys liked it hit that like button subscribe today for more awesome grounded videos and also turn that bell notification to all so you never guys never miss 
any of my grounded videos i will tell you guys that only 30 percent of you that uh watch all these videos are subscribed to the channel so guys please make sure you guys subscribe hit that like button and as always i'll see all of you guys in the next one